Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a makeup tutorial using the MAC Blue Brown Pigment. I really like this pigment, it's really different, but yeah, I use it actually a lot, but I'll show you guys how I get this look. So as always, I'm going to be taking my toner and I'm just going to be using this on my skin after I already washed my face. And then I'm going to apply my moisturizer. This is the Morning Burst Hydrating Moisture Gel, which I always use. I'm just going to apply this to my skin. And then I'm going to apply some lip balm. Now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, just so that my eyeshadows don't crease. And then I'm also going to be applying my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, just to conceal my eyes so that my veins are not showing. I'm going to set my eyelids with Banana from Anastasia and then I'm going to be using MAC Soft Brown as my transition shade with a BH Cosmetics blend brush. I'm going to really blend this color into my crease so that when I put the other colors it is kind of like a gradient and then I'm going to be applying some scotch tape the sides of my eyes so that I have a crisp line and then I'm going to be taking this orange eyeshadow from the this wet and wild palette and I'm going to be applying this to my crease kind of a little bit lower than where I put soft brown I really want my crease to be warm so that's why I'm adding this orange shade and then I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow by MAC this is bronze script and it's like a really warm brown and I'm just going to be applying this to my crease with a Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to be a little bit more precise with this color than I was with the orange and the soft brown. Now I'm going to go in with Ground Brown by MAC and I'm going to be using the brush from the Naked 3 palette and I'm just going to apply this to that outer part of my eye and then I'm going to take this e.l.f. glitter primer and I'm going to be applying this to my lid not going past my crease and then I'm going to apply going to apply the MAC blue brown pigment right on top of that. After I apply the pigment, I'm going to go back into ground brown and I'm just going to apply some more of that to the outer corner of my eye just to deepen it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with my E40 blending brush and I'm going to just blend out the blue brown just so that there's no harsh lines with, and I have no product on that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of makeup remover and take off the fallout. And then I'm going to be using my primer and the, my L'Oreal True Match foundation. And I'm going to be applying this all over my face and blending it in with a Sigma flat topped kabuki brush. I'm going to use my NYX HD concealer to conceal my dark circles and highlight my face and I'm going to be applying this blending it out with my fingers and then I'm going to go in with my tapered kabuki brush by, by Sigma and I'm going to be blending out with that after. To set my under eye, I'm going to be using Banana by Anastasia and I'm going to be applying that everywhere that I applied the concealer and then I'm going to go in with my MAC MSF Natural in 
um, I think this one's like medium golden and I'm gonna apply this all over my face. Taking Havana from the Anastasia contour kit, I'm gonna use this to warm up my complexion and I'm using an e.l.f. powder brush to apply this. And to contour, I'm going to take the cooler color in the palette, which is Spawn by Anastasia, and I'm going to contour my cheekbones with this. I'm also going to take um, Fawn, and I'm going to put that on the side of my nose with a blending brush. Then I'm going to go back into brown script and I'm just going to apply a little bit more to my crease just to warm up my eye a little bit more. Then I'm also going to go into ground brown and I'm going to apply that to the outer part of my eye. I'm going to use my NYC liquid eyeliner and I'm going to apply this and do a small wing. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to take that orange again and I'm going to apply this all over my eye, eye, my lower lash line. And I'm going to really blend it out because I want my lower lash line to be really smoked out and warm. I'm going to apply a black eyeliner to my waterline and then I'm going to take a flat brush by Sigma and I'm going to buff this out so that it doesn't look weird so it blends in with the orange. I'm going to apply a few coats of mascara to my lashes to prep for my falsies and then while I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry I'm going to apply my blush. And I'm going to be using Max Gingerly. And I'm just going to apply this lightly to my cheeks. The lashes I'm using today are Coco Lashes in Goddess. And then I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lash line. I was trying to decide what color lip I wanted to do. I didn't know if I wanted to do like a brown or a pink. So I went with the brown. So I'm taking a strip down by MAC and I'm just lining my lips with this. And then I'm going to use this lipstick by Bobbi Brown. And I think the shade is, well, we'll see the shade right now. Uber Suede. And then I'm going to apply this to my lips. And it's a little bit dark. Like it's a really brown lipstick. So I'm going to take this lipstick by MAC and this one is called Flesh Pot and it's just a really pale nude and I'm going to apply this all over my lips, focusing it on the center of my lips. And then I'm going to take Nylon by MAC and I'm going to apply this to the inner corners of my eyes and I'm also going to apply this as my highlight. And that completes this makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.